everyone, my name is Megan and welcome to Show and Tell, the show where I tell you how to make things. This week on Show and Tell, I'm in my PJs still because I have been ill for about a week now. And after this tutorial, if you hang around, I'm going to show you the thing I bought at Comic Con for £300. So <laughs> if you're into that, stick around. <laughs> the thing I am making today, this idea has been going around in my head for a little while and I was thinking, what if you make Minecraft blocks? out of resin because uh, I got this little silicone mold which is like tiny little squares. I have decided to try and make a grass block using fake moss as the grass and actually mixing soil into the resin to make it look really realistic and I thought that was a really cool idea. Let's try it shall we? Let's do this! And here we are, I actually filmed the tutorial about a week ago so that we can see the result now and it is that, which my camera can't pick up but I will put up some better pictures of these but they actually worked kind of well. I was quite surprised seeing as uh, something that resin doesn't like is moisture <laughs> and soil is pretty much full of moisture. You could see in my tutorial that the soil I had was full of these white blocks which are actually like peat because I was doing succulent planting and that's the only soil I had available. I did try and sift out as much as I could but still kind of worked. You can't really see the peat in there, it just kind of mixed into the brown soil. So they are very cool. I was thinking of doing maybe a series of these like with gravel and with sand, whatever else. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more of these little guys because they're actually kind of cute. Now for the <laughs> unveiling of what I bought at Comic Con for 300 pounds. Well I can show you what I bought in general at Comic Con. I bought some of those weird Japanese drinks with like the ball in it. I bought some of these really cute postcards that remind me of like Mori Sendak but with Pokemon which is freaking amazing. Some cute badges. I'll put the link to this person in the description because I always buy stuff from them. Like <laughs> things on here by them. I have like a big print on the back by them. Yeah, so I think they're called Broken Coral, but I will double check that for you. I managed to score a pack of Fallout badges from the giveaway. The highlight of what I bought, I walked past it and it was one of those moments where I went up to the guy and I was like, I'm afraid to ask, but how much is that? And then he told me and I was like, okay, bye. And then I kind of stopped and did like a double take and I was like, really really want that. This is the thing where if you ask me what nerdy thing you would buy for big money this is it. This has been on my list for like years and years and years and finally I have a Halo Needler replica. Look at this thing. It's friggin massive. It is a one-to-one -one scale <laughs> Needler prop and it is just beautiful but let me show you the best part. 
This is a, a limited edition prop replica. There's a button on the end here which turns on the lights. All the blue part glow, all the needles glow, and if you shoot the trigger, <coughs> the needles retract. How cool is that? Oh my god. And then if I press the reload button, I love this gun. I just, I, <laughs> it's 300 pounds. Why? I love it. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with this because it doesn't fit anywhere in my room. So I think I'm gonna get a, um, like a shelf maybe to put this on, maybe up there. It's, it's just beautiful though. And I love it. And um, if you guys didn't know, uh, I cosplayed Emily Caldwin at MCM. Here's a picture of that. It went very well. You can see my last video to see like the full breakdown of the costume. It's very, very cool. As a result of MCM and a very lovely community manager called Sarah, uh, I was able to get an invite to the Karnaka Supper Club, uh, which was a very secret um, Dishonored 2 themed dinner in London. It was very interesting and very cool. There was a scavenger hunt for runes all around London and if you got one you got an invite to this dinner. When you go in they split you into high chaos and low chaos. The high chaos people were like the aristocracy in the game and the low chaos people were like the peasants. I was lucky enough to be the aristocracy and I didn't get treated like shit all night so that was great. Uh, the food we had were like rat skewers and things like that so food food had some <laughs> submission but it was it was a really fun evening it was really nice to meet some more Dishonored fans and hang out. And anyway <laughs> that is my video I hope you guys had a good day I hope I get better soon to bring you more content and again if you have any requests for any props you want me to make or things you want me to try or whatever you let me know and if you want more actual show and tell videos uh, definitely let me know but have a good day guys thank you so much goodbye